Okay, this is just one of my favorite topics to talk about, and it's what is the power of blood? So the power of the blood is what we need to recognize in our life, but we also need to be aware of what's going on in our blood. And that's why we're here tonight. It's about why get tested. Um, this is, okay, I, I don't, I'm having a hard time getting started because I'm so passionate about this topic and I'm excited about where we're going to go tonight. So when you get your blood work done, I know he's adorable. Isn't he? <laughs> um, when you get your blood work done, it's just a snapshot in a moment of time in your life. It tells us, hey, this is what's happening right now in your life. And it tells us, it gives us a picture of how well you're doing. It gives us a picture of what's happening. It gives us a picture of so much. It's that inside view that is a picture that we all need. So a drop of blood is a snapshot. So we take pictures of our children. We take pictures of our grandchildren. And it's like, oh, remember when they looked like that? Well, that drop of blood is your snapshot of what's going on in your life right now. And so you need to take control of your health. And to do that, to take control of your health, it means getting blood work done, knowing where you are, getting a baseline, getting off medications if possible, tracking your scores, knowing where to go, knowing how to read the numbers. Now, most of you are saying, okay, that's totally overwhelming. And you might be like, okay, this is going to be too much. No, it's not. Don't, don't even drop off because we're going to go over all of this um, to a degree. And so, but if you want to take control of your health and not to be dependent on discovering something too late or just living in this tiredness or not realizing that you actually can make a difference and feel better, this is why we get our blood work done. We've got to get our blood work done to know where we are get that baseline and get off medications. So we've got to know how to do this, track your scores, where to go, how to read the numbers. This is where we're going tonight. All right. So this is Rhonda and she had no clue. She thought she was healthy. So she was part of a beta testing um, for a beta testing for blood work, but she discovered, she's like, okay, I'm going to do this. It's like fun. I'm just going to do it for the fun of it. She teaches Pilates. She does everything. Yet what she discovered was her ferritin levels were alarmingly high and she was worried about an inherited disease problem, a genetic problem. Well, what did that mean for her? By getting her blood work done, just because it was a random beta testing group that she was in, she actually learned about this ferritin levels. She was shocked, to, but she learned what to do. It didn't mean she needed to take a medication. It meant she needed to start donating blood. And so the very next day she did that to lower her ferritin levels. And it was a relief to see her numbers normalize. But otherwise she wouldn't have known and it would have been catastrophic to her health. And so having this picture, this snap of this picture snapshot of that one day in her life gave her a story that she wasn't expecting, but she's extremely grateful for. That's what we're talking about tonight. This is why it's so important. So when we get blood work done, we get to see the inside view. What's going on? And I know she, that lady is looking outside, but just pretend she's looking inside. Um, but anyway, uh, but we get to see, okay, what's going on inside our body? We know, we can see what's going on on the outside. And even that, a lot of what's going on, on the outside is still going to show up in the inside. It's going to show up in your blood work. But we need to get that inside view of what's going on. And just like Rhonda, we can discover things like, oh, well, I thought I was doing good, but I didn't realize that, that was an issue. Sometimes you can get blood work done to see, wait a minute, I am doing good. And that's what we want you to hear. We're like, wow, you're doing a great job. Everything you're doing is working. Now, this is a slide that um, it's actually, I had this on Facebook, obviously, back in 2015, back when I was doing more consults than I do today, as far as one-on-ones. And this gentleman came to me and his cholesterol was 201, his triglycerides 273. And those are alarm numbers to some doctors. And so he's like, hey, my doctor wants me to get on a cholesterol medication. Well, first of all, 201 is not an alarm in my book, but it was in his doctor's book. And they were going more about history and family history. So the doctor's like, hey, you need to start taking these medications. And he says, Annette, what do I do? So I told him what to do. 
Well, here you can see in August, he dropped it down to 157, triglycerides down to 91. His ratio is looking much better at 3.5. So when we get a glimpse of what's going on in our blood, and almost all of you are familiar with getting your cholesterol done. You're familiar with getting your cholesterol done. I preach over and over about getting your vitamin D level done. And oh, I meant to add that to my slide, but I didn't. And so that way we have some measurable markers that are simple to correct. But there's other numbers we also need to be watching for. So let me tell you about my story. Back in 2010, 2009, I was you know, doing my normal routine, my exercise routine. And I kept thinking, wow, I feel like someone is stabbing me in the chest. In the back of my back, I feel like, man, that feels like there's a knife in there. So we'd go walking in the park. It was just outside our home and I'd be out of breath. And I'm like, what is up with this? And I'm still I'm like, well, I'm going to push through because that's what I do. I push through. So I kept walking and, and doing my regular routine. I'm like, wow, I am so out of breath. And then I realized when I laid down, I'm like, wow, I'm really out of breath. Next thing I know, I was sleeping on three pillows behind my back so that I could breathe. And I'm like, and my husband's like, I think you need to go to the doctor. Well, I don't like going to the doctor. <laughs> so I didn't want a medication. I, I just like, oh no, I'll get through this. And I tried to push through and push through. And finally I was like, okay, this pain isn't going away. So I went to the doctor and the doctor was, you know, he's like, takes out his stethoscope, listen to your lungs. <laughs> he tells you to do all that breathing. He's like, um, you know, you need to go get an x-ray right now. So I took an x-ray, he brought it back. He's like, and when you see the x-ray, normally you can see two very inflated lungs. Well, I only had one inflated lung and the other one was totally deflated. It's like those mylar balloons that they get popped. They just, they just kind of suck right in. There's nothing left of them. He's like, Annette, I've never seen a lung that disappears. And I'm like, yeah, me neither. <laughs> so um, he's like, you really need to go to the ER. I'm like, no, surely there's something else you could do. Can we just do like a quick in and out, you know, blow it back up. Like here, just use a straw, put it in the chest and then you blow it. Back up. Um, I know it sounds ridiculous, but no, I went to the ER, ended up with a chest tube. And as soon as they put it in the, you know, the compression changed and it totally inflated. Well, that was great. Spent the night, went home the next day. And, you know, oh, it's like two weeks later, it happened again. I'm like, oh, this isn't good. That doctor barely let me out of the hospital last time with just doing the chest tube. And now I have to go back. So I went back and he's like, you know, remember we talked about surgery? I'm like, no, I really um, erased that conversation from my mind. He's like, no, you really need surgery. We need to fix this. And so I was in the hospital for three days because I was arguing with the doctor about his options for fixing. Well, his choice was to use a talcum powder in the chest cavity so that the lung would seal open and it would never deflate again. Well, talcum powder is very carcinogenic. And it causes ovarian cancer. And there's actually lawsuits right now about it. And I'm like, oh, this isn't good. So for three days, I argued with him. And finally, he said, okay, I'm done arguing with you. You're the only patient who's ever argued with me. I'm the best in the city. He says, I'm sending you to another hospital. I said, no, 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 no. I said, I've been fasting since midnight. Let's just get this over. <laughs> so, um, he, he, does, he wasn't used to working with someone who wanted to control their own prognosis. Uh, so we did the surgery because I had all, I, I did all of my call of friends, a call of docs, every doctor I know. And they're like, Annette, I don't know how you're getting out of there without that surgery. I'm like, Oh, this is not working. So I went, agreed to the surgery or I would not have been let out of the hospital. And so did the surgery. He did the talc races. And, and so knowing what I knew at the time, I mean, I teach women don't use talc powder. I don't care if you sweat a lot, or if you've got extra flabs, don't use talc powder. It's very carcinogenic babies, if they inhale it, you know, if you sprinkle it on their diaper, it's like, no, that's carcinogenic. And so knowing this, I, I get my blood work done. I've always tracked my blood work. And if that cancer score starts to go up a little bit, I like it right at two, but if it starts to climb up, then I go right back to my eating healthy and making sure I'm supplementing wisely. So I use blood testing to protect myself from any variances in my lab scores. This is a very, very important. Now, whether you have the same story as me, it doesn't matter. It's still a way to get that inside view of what's going on. Now, Steve's story, when we moved to uh, Richmond from St. Louis, he started having some challenges. So we went to the doctor and the doctor's like, whoa, yeah, your, your lab reports are all over the place. You know, your cholesterol is over 300, your triglycerides are over 900. You know, he's like, whoa, this is not good. He's like writing prescriptions. And I'm like, well, no, 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 no. We're going to do food and exercise. 
And that doctor's like, he just laughed at us. He says, no, that doesn't work. I'm like, well, we're going to try it. He's like, you don't understand the severity of what you're dealing with. He's a walking heart attack. I said, I still trust food and food and um, exercise over prescriptions anyway. So we're going to try this for 30 days. We'll come back. We did it for 30 days. We retested, went back in. I was so happy. I was just holding that up like a banner, like, hey, look what we did. Cholesterol went from 300 down to 140. Triglycerides went from 900 to 160. And we lost incredible weight. Of course, I say we because I joined him in on this, like, oh, well, if you're going to do it, I'll do it. And the doctor wasn't happy. He says, you have a history. Therefore, you still need these medications. Now start them right away. I'm like, no, we just did a really good job. And he challenged us. He says, you're not going to keep it up. What you did for 30 days, most people will never continue the rest of their life. So I knew we had to start tracking our own blood work to maintain Steve's good numbers. And we had to learn, okay, we got to figure out this supplementation for this specific purpose. And so blood testing for us has been a lifeline and it's just as important for you as well. The one drop will tell us a story. It gives us a baseline and it helps us check for problems. So this, I found this on the internet. So People who get detected in their blood work and just know their numbers and track their numbers. I mean, their survival rate if cancer is detected is huge. We're talking double digits. If you don't get your blood work and you're not detected early, you have low digits of survival. This is a lifeline to know what's going on and get that inside view of your body. The why test. We want to test one. If we want to see the effectiveness, if you're on medications, are they working for you? We want to test our blood work to get off medications. And that's very possible, but you got to know how, what to test for and how to track that test. And then we want to know, hey, I'm spending a lot of money on supplements. Are they even working for me? If you get the blood work done and if you get very specific panels done, we can know that answer. Well, what if you want to know if you need different supplements? Maybe you're not taking the right supplements for what your blood work shows. Wouldn't that be valuable? Because if you're like me and you study supplementation and you study nutrients, every time I study a new one, or this is, this is kind of funny because when I do do one-on-one -on -one consults and I'm, I'm reviewing their notes before I meet with them and I'm like, oh, wow, I need to go back and research that. And I research and I'm like, oh man, I'm going to go take that right now. Next thing you know, I was talking to Dr. Sean too. I'm like, hey, Dr. Sean, do you keep running to the cabinet every time you study a new nutrient? He's like, yeah, I do. Do you do that? I'm like, yeah, I so do. But what if you didn't need that? Well, your labs would tell you. And you can save money because otherwise I want to take everything and it doesn't matter what it is. It's like, oh, well, that sounds good. I'll take that too. Next thing you know, you're taking 500 pills a day. Well, what if your blood work showed you really didn't need 500 pills a day, but you do need these specific ones. Now we're saving money. And then what if, like in Rhonda's case that I just shared, you save your life because you discover something going on before it's even diagnosable. So the body's distress signals, there's early warning signs that something is wrong. Are you fatigued? Do you have hair loss, weight gain? And that hair loss should also say um, hair growth if it's, in the, if it's in a place you don't want it. Um, weight gain, even weight loss, anxiety, skin issues, joint pain. What is going on that you, you're thinking, is this normal? Because before Steve and I, joined in on this journey for healthy and for biblical wellness, I accepted a lot of things in my life that I thought were normal. Okay. I turned 40. Therefore, I guess this comes along with being 40. And then we did this health journey. And I'm like, oh, no one told me that was optional. No one told me PMS was optional. No one told me that all of these things I've been dealing with were optional. I'm like, wow, we really should talk more because I would, I need people to tell me these things. Well, blood work is going to give you an inside view that, Hey, what you're dealing with is optional and we can help with that. So when we know where we are, we can plan where we want to be once we get a baseline. All right. So, so an, an example of that was what to test for. Um, so one of my favorites is the CRP. It's a C-reactive protein. Many times doctors will not order this. And when you're trying to be proactive and the, your best advocate for your own health, it is very difficult to get the doctor to order everything that's necessary. And now my husband just had his lab work done and he went in with this long grocery list that I sent him in with. And normally it's an argument, but the doctor found a workaround. And so it, it actually worked out. 
many times I go in with my long list and, you know, a lot of, most of the time I, I actually, I always order my own blood work because I am a self pay. I'm on Christian healthcare, which I love. And so all of my blood work is self pay. So I'm very specific what I want to order. And I will spend, you know, an easy thousand dollars at a time ordering my own blood work, but I already told you my story. So I'm being proactive thousand dollars a year to prevent cancer, which is hundreds of thousands of dollars of expense. That's a big deal. So, but CRP is many times not checked by your doctor and you have to re request it. Doctors don't always listen to you. You're just another person in their next stop, you know, in the way in the, in the doctor's office, you need specific hormone levels, not just the, the customary ones they do. You need to know exactly what's going on with your kidney function. And usually most of those are included, but you need to not know what's going on with your liver. And some of those are going to be included as well. But what if they're not all being tested so that you get the right understanding of what's going on? Okay, so alkaline phosphatase. And I think I spelled that wrong. So I didn't do a spell check afterwards. Um, so it's formed in the liver and in the bile. If it's elevated, it means you've got a problem. Yet normal levels can still indicate a problem. If it's outside your normal level, it can be an indicator of cancer. Metastatic carcinoma from several different organs in your body that metastasize to the, metastasizes to the bone will show up in an alkaline phosphatase. We did a video on this in our Treasures of Healthy Living DVD series, and we talked about this exact situation. So the question is, is normal normal? So don't gauge your normal on your neighbors. You need to track your own scores to learn your normal. And you need to watch your numbers, not what the lab says, oh, this is acceptable. No, it's what is your normal. So in alkaline phosphatase, the normal was 25 to 120. That's a huge range of normal. There's a lot of disease that can happen between, between 25 and 120. An optimal range, the accepted optimal range is 70 to 100. Do you see a big difference between 25 and 70? That's huge. So let's say that you test in 2020 and your result is 65. Okay, so you're like, okay, that looks good. So I'm just gonna highlight that. And I literally mean grab my highlighter and just mark it. So then you test again in 2021 and your result is 70. Okay, we're still close, but it did go up. So I'm gonna mark it. Wow, okay, that went up. 2023, you're at 85. You're still in the optimal range, but that's not your normal because you were running at 65. So we are having a trend. We're having an upward trend going up. We need to know why you're trending up because now you're up 20 points over two years, three years. We're not doing math on this. Um, so why is that happening? The only way you're going to know that you are trending up or trending down is if you are tracking your blood work. The value of this will save your life. All right. So now when I talk to people one-on-one, -on -one, I say, where's your blood work? Oh, it's in the portal with my doctor. No, you're going to hear me scream if you say that. <laughs> okay. I will do it, but don't, don't, don't settle for that. So many people I say, go back and get it. And they will say, oh, well, our doctor said it's no longer accessible. Right. Every lab work you have done must be printed and put in a three ring binder in your possession. Please don't ever tell me it's at, it's in the medical office portal. No, I don't. We just, if it is true, just don't tell me <laughs> because I don't want to get upset with you. You need to see it and needs to go in a file in your own home. You need to track your blood work. That way you can say, wow, look, 10 years ago, I was at this and now I'm at this. Uh-oh, something's going on and, and no one seems to be aware of that. Your doctor is not going to track your, your, your primary care physician is not going to go back and track your blood work for the last 10 years. That's your responsibility. And then you take it to them and you, cause they're going to say, look, you're still in normal. You're in the normal range. And you're going to say, no, no, I may be in your normal range, but according to my tracking, this is getting out of control. And that will draw their attention and they will then recognize, okay, yeah, you, know, you might have a point. Maybe we should check on this. And you say, yes, that's exactly what I was asking you to do. So you need to track your own blood work. So print it out. That right there is a big takeaway just for showing up on this um, meeting. If you don't want to age like your parents, don't inherit their health care. So in the past, you know, generation, it was all about 
doctor, 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 um, and following his advice. Today, we're like, nope, nope, not doing that. I'm going to be my own bad advocate. I'm going to look for what foods make a difference in my bloodstream. I'm going to look for what supplements are going to make a difference. And I'm going to track my own blood work. Many times that doctors will change this whole healthcare system. It keeps changing. And we're going to talk about something else too, that you really need to understand. Okay. So you have two options, and then I'm going to give you a third option. So, you know, if you've been with me very long, that on my website, the biblical nutritionist.com, um, you will find suggested routine blood work. It's just a free download. You can grab it and you can go and just order your own blood work. Just take that sheet with you and just take it. You, if you have a doctor, just say, Hey, I want everything on the sheet. And they will typically laugh at you, um, but you can be insistent. And then they'll only half laugh at you. And then if you have a really good doctor, they'll say, well, let me see if I can um, figure out a way, reason why you should have this because the government and the insurance agency don't want you to get all of that lab work. They only want the very basics. So your other option is what has just been, um, it's a brand new system. It's called exploratory blood panels. And we're going to talk a lot about that tonight. And you can grab that QR code anytime you see it and go check that out. Okay. Now there is the third option. You can go to your doctor. If you have insurance, they'll cover it. This comes at a risk though. It comes at a risk for today and in the future. When you use your insurance to do your blood work, all of your, your medical information is now stored in the government database. That means let's just say you have a specific liver enzyme score and later the pharmaceutical industry comes out with a drug for that. You're in the system, you're going to get contacted and you're going to be requested to start taking this medication. Your data becomes available to like 3000 different agencies because you used your insurance to cover it. Now, if you need to do it this way, like Steve and I, sometimes we do it with insurance, his insurance, and sometimes we just self pay. If I self pay, I control my data. If it's in the insurance industry, they control your data. Your doctor is gonna give you plenty of time to go over your results. Not, that's not gonna happen. You might just get a report in the mail. Everything's normal within normal limits. That's if you're really lucky, um, but they're not going to spend any time with you at all. And you're not going to know what to do. The answer will always be a medication. And then you're left with confusion, doubt, and uncertainty. So this is an option. There are some times that Steve and I will do it, but we are always reading our labs outside of what the doctor tells us. A lot of times when Steve gets his lab done, I will do my own analysis and, and I'll give him these notes and I'll say, okay, now you go see what the doctor says. And I want to see how right I am. <laughs> so um, now be your best advocate, order the test yourself. You can, if you pull that download off my website, you can just go do all of this yourself. Um, it's going to cost you a little bit more, but cause I have this other option that just came up in the last two months that I'm like super, super, super stoked about. You can get someone you trust to review the results. You can learn how to make changes in your diet. You can learn what supplements will move the numbers in your favor and you can be at peace. There is a lot of value in being at peace, knowing what's going on with your blood. So taking you back to exploratory blood panels, um, and definitely you can grab that QR code and it will take you to their website. Okay, so let's talk about this um, element just a little bit and what the value is. So exploratory panels, it bridges the gap between modern medicine and holistic healthcare. You can take your blood work if you do it yourself to your doctor and say, here, this is what I had done and this is the result and I'm kind of concerned and I'd like to have your input on this and they will definitely tell you what medications you need to take. But if you're like, but what if, what if there is a supplement? Well, most doctors don't know this. They don't, they don't study supplementation. Some of them will know food. We have one here who's local. She has some glimpse into food and some supplements, um, but she still goes to uh, medications first. But if you're insistent, then she will say, okay, well, we could do this now. All right. So this is a story and I forgot to grab her name, but that's not important. She, she knew something was wrong. She was relentlessly fatigued. She had weight gain. She was visiting lots of doctors. She was taking handfuls of supplements. So she went to this exploratory blood panel service, which is with Dr. Jay Hitson and blue umbrella medical. She discovered the reason why she was so tired and she has been totally misdiagnosed for years. Well, now that she got a different blood panel done, that's more specific and it's able, it has just the right panel put together to get a better view of what's going on in every system in her body. 
she's reclaiming her health. Now, if she had gone through the supplemental, the, um, the blood work panel that I suggested, she might have discovered it if she had someone good to help her read it. Um, but by going through the blue umbrella, she had Dr. J to, to tell her exactly what's going on. Now, typically when you get your blood work done, you'll get this from like LabCorp or Quest. And then sometimes now the panels are giving you more of a easier to read. Um, with the exploratory blood panels, you're going to get an easier to read report. And it's going to be highlighted. Hey, you've got a little warning sign here. If, it, if you got a red, you're like, hey, you're high risk. If you're blue, you're like, okay, this is critical. You need to take care of this right away. And this is where like CRP, your C-reactive protein is very important. So if you have your CRP and it's coming in at a good level, you need to know that. But if it's not, you really need to take action right away. So we need to be able to know, is it optimal? Am I in the optimal ranges? And is optimal truly optimal? Okay, so that's also being uh, refined as well. So if you did blood work with Blue Umbrella, you would get a report similar to this. Uh, disclaimer, that is not my blood work. <laughs> it's just what was on the website. Um, and then you can see also previous blood work. And then when they made the changes, they had a great improvement. And so now we're tracking one, one panel to the next panel. All right. So this is another testimony, um, a family history that she didn't want to see repeated. She was on three antibiotics for hives. She was fearful of an inherited disease on several medications and nothing was working. She changed to Dr. J. Hitson, different panels were done, and the discovery was her hormones were critically out of balance. But yet the other doctors didn't pick up on that because they didn't order the right combination of panels to be done. It's one thing to order a CBC and maybe a urinalysis, but if you order a lot more definitive test, you get a better picture. So you can look through a small lens and get a tiny view of what's going on around you, or you can open up this great big window and like, oh, wow. I, when I looked at the little peephole, I saw the leaves on the tree, but when I opened the full window, I saw the whole forest. And when you get the right panel, you see the whole forest. So after one and a half weeks, her hives went away. Many people are on medications for different reasons and it's not working. And the doctor's like, well, let's try another one. Let's try this. Let's try that. And then after three more months, no more medications and her hormones are balanced. She was able to get pregnant and delivered a very healthy baby. I mean, that's like the best story ever. It's like, oh, that's a Hallmark story or a um, great American, whatever that new channel is. Um, career mom with extreme anxiety, severe anxiety, unable to work, stopped leaving home. And look at her. She's young. Um, it's extreme fatigue, heart race, lost alarming amount of weight, fear of unknown. And then her primary care physician referred her to a therapist. So she started following everything. She was extremely compliant with the therapist, but she still kept spiraling uncontrollably. So she went to this exploratory blood panel and, and was with Dr. J. Hitson, found it discovered extreme anemia, mild inflammation. And within three months, she was back to work attending soccer games and no medications and loving life. So what I'm sharing with you is, story after story after story of when you're able to track your own blood work, you take charge of your health. All right. 54 year old mom of five couldn't keep up given medications. She got her blood panels done, realized what was actually going on and they were able to fix it. And now she's having the energy of her life. Okay. So just briefly, if you were to do exploratory blood panels, you would just order it, get it drawn locally, wherever you live. Um, I will say though, I don't think we're set up. Um, I say we, I don't have, I don't have any ownership in this business. I just found it and wanted to share it with you. Um, I don't think they're set up in New Zealand. In fact, I know they're not, but still um, knowing what everything else that I've been teaching you tonight is extremely valuable. Um, step three, go over the results with an expert and step four, get sustainable solutions. In other words, no medications. Now, step three is where you get peace because Typical doctors are going to give you five to seven minutes to go over your blood work. If you get that with this company, and even if you order your own through the suggested blood work that I have out there, uh, you, you still have to schedule a consult with somebody to read it. With this panel, you pay less for the blood work and you get 30 minutes with Dr. J or her other physicians. So this is why I'm so excited to share this with you. So I'm sharing a lot of good takeaways. So I hope you're picking up on everything. Um, so you can do your blood work three different ways. Go through your doctor, go through your insurance. That's one. 
you can do order the blood work that I have listed on my website. That's still very, very, very valuable. Or you can take the easy road is like, I'm just going to have Dr. J's um, blue umbrella medical do it for me. Much simpler. The process is easy. I have had blood work done a couple of times this year because I'm trying to hone in on my hormones. I didn't really need to have my blood work done again, but I went ahead and did this system because I wanted to see what it was like because I didn't want to refer you to anything that I haven't really checked out and vetted. Now, you know, I'm extremely passionate about anyone I tell you about because they have to have good Christian beliefs and they have to be a hundred percent. I don't know. What's the word, Steve? You need to give me a word here. Um, Very trustworthy. So we'll just use, use that. And so just, just so you know that, and this is Dr. J and she's got videos and stuff on her website. And This is, so if you want peace of mind, if you want the results to come to you, you want an appointment for follow-up, you want 30 minutes of a doctor's time. I'm like, seriously, it was 30 minutes. I timed her and it was cool. So she tells you what you're doing, right? How many doctors are telling you what you're doing, right? Most of the time they they aren't sure. Um, She tells you what needs improvement, learn how to make the right changes with food or supplements and enjoy life knowing exactly what's going on on the inside view. That's incredible knowledge. So just realizing everything that's available. And yeah, you can do that QR code anytime you see it. Let me grab the screen again. All right. So it's called Blue Umbrella Medical. It's definitely an option that I hope you look into um, right now in the United States. Um, But still, if you're outside the United States, stay tuned because we'll let you know when it's available elsewhere. Okay, so what's peace of mind? What's the value of that to you? Okay, so optimal in her ranges, this is what something I wasn't expecting, but in her ranges, her optimal was better clarified than my optimal that I usually refer to. So I was like, whoa, boy, you really honed in on that one. She's like, yeah, we totally honed in on the different optimal ranges so that we are more precise on where we want people to be. I'm like, okay, that was valuable. The conversation is not condescending. Okay, so maybe most of you don't argue with a surgeon and tell him he's not going to be able to do surgery on you for three days. Maybe most of you don't have that conversation. Um, But I don't like being talked down to, and I don't like being forced to do something that I'm unsure about. So understanding that and having a conversation for 30 minutes with a doctor who's actually not talking down to you, that's valuable. Okay. The questions are encouraged and the answers are understandable. That's, that's incredible. All right. So if you want to use blue umbrella in your own wellness ministry, just email me, say, Hey, Annette, I'd like to know how to do this. Um, I'd like to use blood panels in my ministry, but let me just tell you something here. I don't make any money off of you doing blood panels with blue umbrella. I don't, I don't make a dime. I used it. I love it. And so I'm referring you to it. They gave me a QR code that I can share with you. And I did win a pair of tennis shoes for last month, having the most referrals, just telling you, just being transparent. Um, So yeah, I'm kind of excited. I needed new tennis shoes. So I just want to be very transparent with you because you're family to me and you matter to me. And I'm not going to send you anywhere that I haven't done myself, but now we are here for the surprise. And this is cool. I have Dr. Jay Hitson, who's the owner of this um, blood panel on the, she is on, she's not only on the line, she is on the Zoom call. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. and I thank you so much for for all the kind words and and just um and just uh, giving giving cre- credence to again, I guess my ministry. Um it's we have seen so many patients who have needed this work, but it's so expensive. And it's been kind of being able to do this has really um for a lot of people Good healthcare should not only be for the ultra wealthy. And we needed exactly. to find a way to bring good quality care to average Americans. And, and so that we're, we're really, really uh, grateful for just all of the things that have come together with this. And, you know, I have to say, can, um, you, you brought up so many great points. And just before I got on this call, um, I was going over blood work with a, a, a young woman who had all of the symptoms that we've talked about. And this is this is just what those numbers look like right there. And see those blues? Blue means that she was in critical condition and, and she had no idea. 
And we were able to find these things. And it was so interesting that the alkaline phosphatase, that was that was the marker. And, you know, she had been begging her doctors, please, I really think this is my issue. I feel it. I feel it right here in my liver. My liver, I know something's wrong. They would not run the tests. But we found it. We caught it before there's permanent damage. And I'm expecting her to make a full recovery. So it's it's very exciting to be able to do this. And, and these are amazing people who have families and they have, you know, beautiful lives that they they need to be healthy for. So it's, it's, it's so exciting to be able to be a part of people's journeys. Oh, you, you are such a blessing. I'm, I mean, it is, I, I've been, I've been teaching this for years, like you need to do this, but you, you made it simpler. And that was a hang up for many people. It's like, Hey, just take this and go get it done. And they're like, but I don't have time to do 500 consults. <laughs> so, um, that's why I'm like, okay, wow, you, you took everything I needed to have done and you put it all in one package and it's, and it's, it's cheaper than what I was having people do by doing the other form. So uh, I'm just, we're just so blessed to be able to have found you. Thank you so much. It's like I said, it's been wonderful. We've been able to help a lot of people right before um, d- day before yesterday, a young woman. I, this is a, just an amazing story. Um, wonderful, wonderful young woman who we found out she has an extreme anemia, like very, very, very serious uh, anemia. She just felt fatigued. We caught it the day before she was leaving for an 11 day trip, mission trip to Africa. Now that's significant because when your, your body's under that kind of stress traveling like that and whatnot. So we were able to get her what she needed so she could at least take it on the plane. Cause I, I, I would have been very, very concerned about her being in a third world country for 11 days with that particular condition. And, you know, what a blessing that we, she was able to get exactly what she needs. She took it, you know, she had it on the plane with her and all is well. And, and so it's just been amazing what we've been, been, been able to do for people. Yeah, that is true. So just noticing we have people from other countries on the call, especially Canada, do you anticipate it opening into Canada I know there's so much legality that you've had to go through with every single state being added in. So where, where are you at with Canada? Oh, we, we are definitely working on it. Um, and, and I promise we are really working on the international front. Um, the biggest the factor as we're going through is just working with the various lab companies to get the pricing down. Um, because this the what we need costs between like fifteen hundred to seventeen hundred dollars normally. Um, and that's just straight out lab costs. And so being able to get that, all of those prices down and getting those negotiated down, it's it's just taken us a little while to get uh, the international communities to uh, to to get their prices to the point where we're, uh, we we feel ready to go. Yeah, I totally understand that. So, well, um, we don't have time for everyone to ask questions because we have 100 people on the call. And so that's exciting. But I, I do want to say um, thank you so much for what you have put together. And it, it's a lifesaver. And we've pointed that out. And many people who think they feel healthy, it's like, you know, just get a baseline, get a baseline, know where you are. So then later, if you test again in a year, you can see, oh, uh oh, that number changed. I wonder why. But if you didn't know that it changed and you were still, quote, within normal limits, the doctor's not going to catch it. So we have to know those baselines. And so, so sometimes it is, it's just a baseline. Um, I'm just trying to glance through the, um, yes, yeah, they do. It can be done in California. Yes. And done in Hawaii. It's been all, every, every, every one of the 50 states. Yeah. So what you do is you just, you order the blood, uh, you go through blue umbrella medical. I had the, the QR code on the screen. We'll email that out to you. Um, okay. So good question. How does this compare with your future health? Uh, so that's a company that we refer to in our video series is your future health. This is different, um, but it's much cheaper. So if you, if I had to choose one or the other to start with, I would definitely start with blue umbrella health, both blue umbrella and your future health are going to give you a review of your blood work. And that's excellent. Um, but, um, with, with your future health, Carol there at that office does an excellent job with that. And then with blue umbrella, you have one of the doctors, the actual physician doing the review with you. They're both very educated. So um, it's two different options and just knowing we have options and is great. Um, Yes, all 50 states are covered and 
good to know that. And I'm trying to catch these questions as they're file, file, uh, flying in. Um, yeah, so you can do it in Hawaii. All right, good. Um, yeah, so Dr. J, and I, I just love that you're very personable because I had my review with you and I'm like, okay, that's a much better conversation than I've ever had with one of my doctors. <laughs> I think doctors aren't used to being intimidated and I try not to, but it just seems to come across. I'm not sure why. <laughs> so um, anyway, okay, yeah. So someone's mentioning they've got eczema and what do I do? You get blood work done. We need to know why, what's the source? What, what's going on in your bloodstream as to why that's happening? Um, could be, um, could, oh yeah. The appointments for follow-up, this is all virtual. So it doesn't matter where you are in the 50 United States, you can get your, you order it through them and they will tell you where the labs are that you can go and get it done. It's already paid for through Blue Umbrella. You just walk into the lab core, or lab core, get your blood work done, and then they will email you the results. And they will also immediately send you a link saying, here, schedule your appointment here. It's all virtual. You don't need to go into a doctor's office personally in, in front of each other to go over labs. So I just uh, thank you again, Dr. J. And I'm just going to go back and just reiterate what we covered tonight. One, you need to take charge of your health. You need to be your own embath, your own advocate. You need to track your records. Remember, please don't make me scream if you do not print your own lab work. And you'll hear it from Richmond to whatever state you're in. <laughs> you don't print your lab work. It's it's your it's like your snapshot of that day where you were and what was going on. I always write on the blood work. Was anything else going on in my life? It's like this past June we went side by side riding up in the Blue Ridge Mountains. I ended up with a concussion, and so I, I wrote that at the top of my blood work. I'm like, oh, I wonder if that's why that lab was out of order. <laughs> that that concussion that just totally threw me for a loop. Um, wasn't expecting that to happen. It's like. What? How'd you do that? It's like, yeah, crazy story. We, we don't need to take time for that. But anyway, but I wrote that at the top of the blood work. So I knew what else was going on at the time. If you're having stress with the family or if you're going through a divorce, you need to write that at the top of your blood work. And that needs to be up there so that you can relate to that. Okay. Heavy stress, um, def difficulties with your children, difficulty getting pregnant. All of that needs to be noted on your paperwork. So you can look back at that and see what was going on at that time and what did that contribute to. Now, if you meet with Dr. J or her other physicians, they're going to ask you those questions. And does your doctor ask you those questions? No, <laughs> no, not at all. Um, once you get the, re so I had my, I ordered it, got the labs done and had my appointment in under seven days. <laughs> so I don't know if they'll keep that good of a, um, if they'll keep that good of a, tra of a track record, but the goal is within two weeks, you order and you have your meeting within two weeks. And um, so, so yeah, we question on there um, with regards to children, uh, because we order so much lab right. work, um, children need to be over 90 pounds um, because we just take too much blood. Um, so that's, that's the, one of the, the issues. So, um, we can work with, you know, usually like teenagers. Um, but yeah, we can't work with small children just because it's, it's, it's too much. Okay. Good point. Yeah. I'm glad you brought that up. Is there anything else, Dr. J we forgot to mention? Uh, no, as if, as long as you have access to a lab core, lab core is a, an amazing company and they really worked with us to make this, make this all come together. So um, as long as you have access, then um, everything else works beautifully. We all love food and feeling good, but are you feeling as good as you wish? Do you have the energy to be on mission? What if I could help you reclaim your health, both physically and spiritually? Join us February 8th through the 10th at the Biblical Wellness Conference. We're going to dive into what is holding you back physically and spiritually from the wellness that God promises in His Word. My team and I are going to teach you how to do effective cooking classes in your home or even in the church. We're going to teach you how to do Bible studies focused on health. If you're ready to take on this challenge to begin a wellness ministry, a biblical wellness ministry in your church, your community, or even just your home, this conference is for you.